It took three years, but large-scale construction is now set to begin on the Port Covington project. Alex Domingo reports Baltimore is investing millions of dollars in tax breaks, while builders are promising it won't become an enclave for the well-off. It wasn't the best weather to stage a groundbreaking. Even with a tent, seats got wet, and the heavy construction equipment brought in as props is pretty much ignored. It also rained on my wedding day, and I'm still married 20 years later. And it may well take another 20 for the lead developer of the Port Covington project to build out one of the largest urban renewal projects in the country. A groundbreaking formalized the start of major construction on infrastructure and buildings where high-tech jobs will mix with housing and retail spaces. To reach this goal, developers received hundreds of millions of dollars in tax assistance from the city. In return, the project provides half a dozen South Baltimore communities with redevelopment. Not just in words, but in deeds. And I can truthfully stand here to tell you that that has really happened. So what's exactly happened? Well, I think the opportunity for affordable housing, new affordable housing, the opportunity for jobs, which has been demonstrated uh, I mean, time and time again, uh, the opportunity for such things as looking at opportunities for food to come into what are um, food deserts. This project will include more than just bricks and mortar. For South Baltimore residents, a new way to get around. We're creating a $2 flat fare zone for South Baltimore through Lyft. You can get anywhere you want in South Baltimore during business hours, during commuter hours for $2. Including Port Covington. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ.